My third documentary, The Workings of Evil, was uploaded onto the World Wide Web on October 6, 2008. Since that time, it has been revered by viewers worldwide. It has also been extremely criticized. Whether your personal review of the film was positive or negative, the fact still remains that The Workings of Evil has caused many to think deeply about concepts related to the occult, possession, and the deeper subliminal significance of words, terms, and symbols present in all forms of popular media. Since the release of The Workings of Evil, I have received countless supportive emails from viewers from across the globe. Many have asked that I revisit The Workings of Evil and that revisitations have become a common practice in my work with recent events surrounding the vocalist Rihanna and to a lesser degree Beyonce, a.k.a. Sasha Fierce, I felt that now would be the appropriate time to revisit the workings of evil. In this particular film, I will share with you some interesting post-production confirmations that I discovered and received in regards to the workings of evil. These confirmations are related to the general conclusions presented in The Workings of Evil and function to contribute to the solidification of my analytical propositions therein. Additionally, I will provide historical examples as to the popularization of the umbrella construct, examples that became apparent to me long after The Workings of Evil was uploaded onto the World Wide Web. Much of this information was provided to me by other truth seekers who, through their own research and generosity, offered their findings as confirmation of my work as a whole. To these kind truth seekers I say, thank you. As we begin, it is important that the viewer of this film has already viewed the workings of evil. It is also recommended that the viewer takes the time to digest all of my major works and that doing such will provide the necessary foundation through which the information herein can be contextualized. The viewer should also note that this film will not engage in extensive analysis of the information provided herein. The reasons for this is simple. If you have followed my work, then you have already been given all the tools needed to engage in your own analysis of the information that is provided here. 
I will only provide brief analysis in specific places wherein I feel to do such is absolutely necessary. So as the story goes, the Rain Man entity made promises to Rihanna the Good Girl. It then raped Rihanna the Good Girl a total of six times. Rihanna the Good Girl gives birth to six demonic children. Rihanna turns bad and becomes possessed by the Rain Man entity. Her mind is no longer her own. She enters into the demonic realm of Disturbia. She then realizes that what she was promised will go unfulfilled. Her life has been turned upside down. The possessed Rihanna wishes that she could be released from her curse, her oath to the demonic Rain Man entity.